Hi, I'm Edward. I travel through time and witness history as it happens. Let me show you something remarkable. It's 1820. I'm in Copenhagen, Denmark, watching a physics lecture by a man named Hans Christian Ørsted. The room smells like oil lamps and ink. On the table, just a wire, a compass, and a battery. Ørsted switches on the current. The wire hums faintly, and then it happens. The compass needle moves, but no magnet touched it. This wasn't just a fluke. This was proof. Electricity could create magnetism, one invisible force revealing another, the start of something huge. Until this moment, scientists believed electricity and magnetism were separate, completely unrelated. But Ørsted's compass proved they were connected, not by magic, by fields. A flow of electric current through a wire creates an invisible magnetic field around it, a perfect circle expanding outward like ripples in water. That field reached out and tugged on the compass needle. That discovery opened the door to a new science, electromagnetism. Within a decade, Faraday would turn that principle into motion. Spin a magnet, you get current. Send current, you get a magnetic force. That tiny twitch would one day lead to motors, generators, transformers, power grids, nearly every machine you've ever used, from your lights to your phone to the train that brought you to work. It all began with a compass and a wire. And I was there when it began.